So how do you pick them up? Do you just grab one of their legs? No, I usually just, the best tool is like a spoon, just a silver spoon, so you can scoop them wherever you go. Yes. But I generally don't ever really like to pick them up. I can manipulate them to do what I want. Um, so like if I want it to go that way, I'll tap that leg, and if she, I want it to come oh, back this yeah, way, okay. you tap on this side. So you, you could do a flea around. circus, couldn't you, on this yeah. basis? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're a natural. So how long does it take to make that web mat? Um, they could probably do that in one night. Yeah. One night? Yeah. Really, yeah. one night? Yeah. So that one's probably would have started off a little thinner, but then they just keep adding to it. So you're going to show me how to do this, aren't you? Yes. Right, yeah. so I will have to put on my live forever glasses because that means I can actually see what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got a little female in here. So we'll see if we can get her out. Come on, miss. Mm, I'd hate to see the big female. Alright, so... She seems to be rearing and ready to go. You should be able to just run your pipette just up and down the fangs, but particularly at the tips. Yes. I'll try and stimulate her to produce a few venom droplets. Come on, there you go, you got a big one right there. And then a little bit on this fang. Just, oh, come on, what are you doing, miss? You're all right, you're all right. <laughs> you can feel them actually attack the end of that pipette, and she has the ability to snap the end of that pipette if we're not careful. Their fangs are large enough to pierce through a child's fingernail. Oh, really? That's how strong it is, yeah. Well, we might get oh, some miss. great shots of a bald man crying actually hear it getting sucked up. Being a spider that only comes out during the evening, she can't see very well, so. Oh, I got some. Yeah, there you go. I would recommend everyone have a go at milking a spider. This has completely transformed my way of viewing funnel webs. I always thought they were an attractive spider. Now I'm sort of feeling something. So they do become one of your favorite species of spiders. Um, yes. Feeding them is the thing that we'll do last. So we'll milk them yes. first. And then um, we'll calm them down with the yeah, floor. Yeah, and we, we clean them. Um, you clean them? Yeah, yeah, they, spiders go to the toilet too. They get all, everything done to them all in the one day. Mm. So, and that'll only happen once a week. So, but once we actually feed them, it's just all hands off. Uh, because they're so sensitive to any movements or any vibrations. Yes. Um, you know, you just leave them on the bench and give them hours to do what they need to do to, to consume their food and then yeah, we come back later on and clean them up. So how long have you worked at the Australian Reptile Park? Uh, seven years now. And you're their chief? Yeah. The supervisor of reptiles and spiders. It's a lot of hard work, but it's all paid off. And All the kids who you meet who say they want to work with animals or whatever, the actual number of people who get to your position are fairly small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there must I was be one of those kids. I guess yeah. any advice I can give to the kids out there is just to um, work hard and, you know, don't, don't give up and just have fun with it along the way and just do what you love. Yeah. Well, that's EnviroTube for this week. I found the funnel web fascinating. I was a bit apprehensive about milking a funnel web and there I go, not a problem. These spiders are quite defensive and quite easy to live around. And this is the sort of thing that's happening in Sydney. Lots of work with wildlife, lots of people living with wildlife. That's EnviroTube. <laughs>